Hello and welcome to the segment Quick Tip. My name is Asim Khan. Let's have a look at today's top stories. An FIR has been lodged against All India Majlis Se Tehad Muslimin Chief Asaluddin Owaisi by Jagannath Sena and Yuva Adivakta Sang over controversial remark on Puri Jagannath Temple, demanding his immediate arrest. The organizations have threatened to intensify the stir if no action is taken against the MP. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today announced that his government would be recruiting 10 lakh personnel within the next 18 months. On a mission mode, a major drive after recruitment to government jobs was derailed following the COVID-19 pandemic. The Congress again slammed the BJP-led center and accused it of using the probe agency as an election management department. Senior leader Randeep Singh Surjewala jived at Union Home Minister Amit Shah with a chronology samjaye remark and posed four questions for the center. He said, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma was not called by ED and CBI once he switched to the BJP. He said, the moment you join the BJP, you become innocent. The Congress will attend a meeting called by West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee in Delhi tomorrow to discuss opposition strategy for the presidential polls scheduled next month. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation has imposed a fine of Rs 10 lakh on Air India for denying boarding to passengers holding valid tickets. And the DGCA also said that in case an airline is able to arrange an alternative flight for the said passengers within an hour, no compensation is to be paid. According to the Union Health Ministry data updated today, India logged a single-day rise of 6,594 new coronavirus infections, taking the total tally of COVID-19 cases to 4 crores 32 lakhs 36,695, while the active cases have increased to 50,548. Responding to a question from the officials, Chinese media on the protest triggered by the controversial remarks by two now suspended BJP functionaries, Nopo Sharma and Naveen Jindal, against Prophet Muhammad, please be upon him. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin said that we have noted relevant reports and hope that the situation will be handled properly. The European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen said that the EU wants to strengthen its energy cooperation with Israel in light of Russia's use of gas supplies to blackmail its members over the Ukraine conflict. Ukrainian authorities today said that a third bridge to Severodonetsk has been destroyed but that the eastern city is not cut off, despite Russian forces bearing down after weeks of bloody battles. Pope Francis has taken a new series of swipes at Russia for its actions in Ukraine, saying its troops were brutal, cruel and ferocious while praising Ukrainians for fighting for survival. Well, this is all for today. Keep watching BBN News channel and do like, share, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.